Fair Park in Dallas is over 100 years old and designated as a National Historic Landmark. It's a 277-acre site that is known for the Texas State Fair, but there's much more to it. It has the largest collection of 1930s Art Deco architecture in the United States, and you will see some of that in this video tour. In this view, beginning on the left and going clockwise around the lagoon, we see the band shell, and the other two buildings around the lagoon represent the Museum of Nature and Science. We also see the Cotton Bowl. South of the Cotton Bowl, you will find most of the rides that operate during the Texas State Fair. The Texas Star Ferris Wheel is the most popular ride at the fair, and it has an overall height of 212 feet. I'm told that the view is one of the things that entices people to ride on it, but if that's the case, you should try the top of Texas Tower, which is 500 feet tall. Um, it's an observation ride that you can see in the background. Back at the lagoon, you can see the city of Dallas in the background. The building that we're zooming in on right now was originally called the Museum of Natural History. The building itself doesn't have much architectural detail, but like many of the other structures on this site, it dates from the 1936 World's Fair. Although some of the exhibits have been moved to other museums, it certainly has a lot of historical value, like the second building that we'll look at in a second. Looking out across the lagoon from the Museum of Natural History uh, is the second building called Science Place One. This building is called the Hall of State. I don't think you're going to be getting this view on your iPhone. We're about 150 feet above the reflecting pool across the street. Originally, this building was called the State of Texas Building. The bronze statue is covered in gold leaf, and it is an 11-foot-tall, Tejas Indian warrior.
the carving at the top is called the symbolic seal of Texas. The building itself is crafted from Texas limestone. The exterior frieze at the top honors 59 Texas historical figures. The statue of the man on the terrace is R.L. Thornton, uh, who was a Dallas mayor and a longtime president of the State Fair of Texas. It was Thornton who secured the Texas Centennial Exposition for Dallas. This is called the Tower Building, and it is also an exhibition hall. It was recently rebuilt back to the 1936 uh, configuration. Over the decades, many of the buildings have been restored or renovated, and possibly even renamed. Also, some of the buildings are free to visit and open year-round. The Esplanade contains a 700-foot-long reflecting pool and is located between the Centennial Building to your left and the Automobile Building. Both of those buildings are exhibit halls. There are three statues on each side of the Esplanade reflecting pool. We will be showing the three statues that stand in front of the Centennial Building which represent the Republic of Texas, the Confederacy, and Spain. All of these statues are fairly large. They're at least 20 feet tall. They are all female figures that represent the six nations that once ruled Texas.
the remaining three statues on the other side of the reflecting pool, which will not be shown, um, they stand in front of the automobile building and they represent Mexico, France, and the United States. Moving along the Centennial Building, we come to the last statue that represents Spain. This is called the Sidney Smith Memorial Fountain, and it is adjacent to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial that you can see in the background. Across the street from the Veterans Memorial is the Music Hall. Below us we can see the Women's Museum and the DAR House, which stands for the Daughters of the American Revolution. We've covered a lot of ground, but there's still a lot more to see. I think you really need to go inside some of these buildings to appreciate all the artwork and the murals.